you the tack weave. You might already know this one, but if you don't, I'm gonna show you this, and I'm also gonna show you different variations of the tack weave, like one with four colors, one with three rows of balloons stacked on top of each other, and one with four rows of balloons stacked on top of each other. What we need for this one are six 260s. You want two of each color. So I have two Robin's Egg, two Wild Berry, and two Standard Yellow. Okay, let's get started. You want to inflate your 260s with five finger tails. Let a nice puff of air out of them so they're a little bit on the mushy side. And then tie three colors together at the knots. Make sure to tie the last one two times and tug it really well or else it'll pop out on you whenever you're weaving and that's kind of annoying. And then you have to try to tie it inside these little grooves. So just tie the third one and Tug it two times and make sure it's tied pretty good. All right, now what you do is you have two sets of the same colors all tied together at the knots. And what you wanna do is just layer them on top. So I have one on the bottom and one sitting on the top. I'm just gonna show you this basic way to do it so it's easier whenever we stack them with more balloons to make like bigger ones like this and like this. This will make it thicker. So let me show you real quick. If I were to stack this one, this one, and then another set, it would turn out like this. But we're just going to do one row so it's going to be skinny like this one. I'll show you how to do this one right after this one. And if you were to get do four colors single, it would it'd be a little bit thicker because there's four colors. And I would just add that fourth color in. So I would just add a lime green one here and a lime green one on the bottom. And that's how I came up with this. All right, well, when you have your two layers stacked together like this on top of each other at the knots, the yellow goes on top of the yellow and the blue on top of the blue and the wild berry on top of the wild berry. You're going to pick which way you want it to spiral. So I have mine spiraling to the right. If you want it to spiral the other way to the left, then you would do everything to the left. So your top row is gonna to be to the right. So shift it a little. All we're gonna do is take this up to the top like this and we're going to twist everything together and this second layer is just going to sit inside so this is going to come up here this is going to come up over top of this one and then the blue is going to come up over top of this one and before you twist we're going to twist it right here make sure your second layer is sitting just to the right of all your balloons so uh, and if you mess up, you can untwist it and fix it, but there might be like a dent in your balloon. So you have to make sure, you know, how when you twist it and untwist it, there's this funky little thing right here. You just have to make sure you twist it in the same spot. So everything's to the right. This one's to the right, and then my balloon's in the middle. This robin's egg blue is to the right of the robin's egg blue one on the bottom. And then the standard yellow one, the second layer is just to the right of the standard yellow one. And whenever you're sure that's all correct, then you just twist them all about the same length. They're about five finger bubbles from here to here. Twist it around and then position the yellow one on top of the yellow one and do the same thing over again. Sit it like just to the right. So the blue one just a little to the side. This is to the right, and then the wild berry ones to the right. And now we're gonna take this second row that's at the bottom. You're always gonna twist the bottom row up right into that middle set of spokes. 
and right up here, twist it together like this. And then do the same thing, Sit that to the right, this to the right, and the wild berry to the right. See, if I were to go this way, I mean, unless that's the look you want, say my yellow one shifted back this way, and then it would look like this. So it, it'll mess it up a little bit. And then you'll have to untwist it. And you also don't want to have like two balloons stuck inside of there. Just make sure it's every other balloon and make sure your balloon's sitting just to the right. So this one's to the right. Every other balloon coming up. And whenever you have everything positioned correctly, twist it on the top. And then you're gonna just work your way the whole way up until you run out of balloon. So this one, next row here will come up and my yellow one's just to the right of this one. And turn it. This one will be just to the right of the bottom one. And then this blue one will be just to the right. And we're just gonna keep going up and doing the same thing. Check all your balloons. If you learn it this way, first it's a little easier before you start adding other balloons on. It helps you get the hang of it. And it makes things a lot easier. Position everything the right way again. And, and also, say I was doing four balloons and like it kind of hurts to twist this all together. So you can twist two like that and make sure everything's the right way. And then you can add this one in and twist it in. If you have trouble twisting like three of these together at one time, just do two and then add the last one in. Or if it's two and two, just do two and then the last two. It makes it a little bit easier. So keep going up like this. My blue's to the right of the blue. And you see how it's spiraling? It just does it naturally whenever you twist it all that way. So you can't go any further. Okay, this one's just a little bit too short. So say I want this to be like a mile long. And so I guess if this one's too short before I do my next row, like this top row, what you actually would want to do is pop and tie these off. And you want to knot that two times. Remember, so it doesn't come undone when you're twisting. Give it a nice tug, make sure everything is tied really well. Right on top there. And then you're going to want to take another set so you can keep going with it. So you would tie this set right on the top of here. And then you can work your way up with this next row. And then you would twist this off, pop them, and then tie it off really well. And then you can add your next row right on top of there. And then you could keep on going and make it really long if you wanted to. And that is how you make a single tack weave, single uh, spiral. And if you want to do three sets and get it a little bit thicker, see the single and this is the three sets, two sets and three sets. I'll show you how to do that. I'm not going to show you four sets. It's the same concept as the two sets and three sets. It's just, you just go up four. Well, I'll explain to you how to do it. So with three sets, you just take your three sets of balloons tied together at the knots. Here's one, here's another, and here's another. And if we were doing four sets, you just put another one right up on top of there. 
and it would be a little thicker and you'd have like deeper grooves in here, which is pretty cool, I think. And then do the same thing. It gets a little trickier to keep track of everything because you have three sets. But basically you just sit your three balloons, all the colors on top of each other. In the bottom row, you would just want to make sure your two top balloons go to the same side, to the right. And then bring your bottom ones up. Make sure everything's tied really well. And make sure your blue ones are to the right. You can twist that off if you want to. And then add the yellow ones in. And then that's twisted together and then you have three the whole way around. And do the same thing with the second set. Go up, make sure your two balloons are to the side that you want them to be. And then make sure all of your other balloons are matching. So these wild berry ones are going to the same side and so are the yellow ones. And so are the blue ones. And you do the same thing. And you work your way the whole way up. Twist it together at the top and work your way around the balloon. These ones go up, this one goes up, and then it will make a spiral naturally. So you get the idea. You just wanna keep working your way up the balloon. And then put these to whichever side the upper ones, the upper layer goes to the right or the left side, depending on which way you're going to spiral your balloon. I do like to add that third one in. Just try to make sure your bubbles are all the same size going around. Because it makes it easier to tie it. And then every row, make sure you kind of line all your balloons up and get them on top of the other colors. It makes it easier. And then you can look and see that my yellow ones are to the right side. And then these are to the right side. And then my blue ones are to the right side. And then you twist it right on top. So I hope you get the idea. And then you just keep working your way the whole way up the balloon. And this is called a tack weave. And this will end up like this if I keep working my way up the balloon. Two layer tack weave. Two layer tack weave with four colors instead of three like I just showed you. Three layer tack weave and with three colors and a four layer tack weave with three colors. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll keep them coming. I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.